In this tutorial, I am showing you step by step how to build the task dashboard with the airport theme. So it is very simple to build. The most technical and also, in my view, the most interesting part was to take a several digit number that usually sits in one cell and to have each digit sit in a different cell. So we'll see how I have done that. Welcome to this tutorial. So first, uh, we need to build this type of a grid here. So I will guide you through it. Um, so there's a lot of merging and I suggest you do the merging instead of changing the width of the column all the time because that will save you a lot of time uh, down the path. So here I have first some, some columns that are uh, quite wide, three columns quite wide on the left. I have four that are a little bit uh, not as wide and three that are quite short. So in order to build this, first of all, we merge uh, the whole width on three cells. Underneath we have uh, three cells here that are not merged, but I have uh, three uh, cells here that are merged. Three, three, same here, three, three, three. Then moving to the right, I have also uh, three columns this time and three uh, rows that are merged. Here the same, but they're only on one column and merge the three, merge and merge. Uh, the bottom line is the same, three, 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 as I mentioned, and here three on three and then three, three, three. So that's uh, suggest if you want to build this with me, you, you just pause this and you have a look at uh, building this first. Underneath, and there's uh, a typical table, let's say, where you have the description, the work done, the done percentage, the status and days left. So as far as description concerned, you also merge three columns here, merging three columns, only one column, only one column. The status are merging two columns and days left, just single columns here, single cells, no merging. Uh, but if you want to merge the top, you can do it. So this is it. So now I'm just going to put in some data so we can have a look at the calculation. I've just added some data here, description, work, which could be days, uh, anything that you like here as a bit of a unit and the percentage down here. Before we go any further, I just need to mention that I was so motivated to do it like the airport gates that uh, I actually tried to find a font that they use in airports and something, the most similar one that I found was the DDIN font. So D-DIN, that's the font that I'm using all the way through. Now, all this is obviously hard-coded, that's something that you input, but here the rest will be calculated. So now I need to come up with a formula to decide what's the ta status of this task. So if you have IFS, uh, I will recommend that you use IFS. If you just have IF, if you don't have the IFS version yet, I suggest you uh, use nestled if it's possible. A little bit more uh, tedious to do. So IFS, what is the first condition? The first condition I want to test is if this is the cell here, I17 is equal to zero. So that means that it's departing. So that means it's not started yet. If you're uncomfortable with departing, you could say uh, not started. But I'm sticking to my airport ID here. Now the second condition, and that's the thing with IFS, you can put several conditions in a row. Uh, the same cell, IS17, is equal to 100%. Now I can say this is arrived. And the last condition is, I, is uh, I suppose, if, if it's none of those, I'm just going to put in flight. Now this is a simplified version because you could argue that if, uh, so actually that this is true, the, the last condition has to be tr true, sorry. Uh, you could argue if there's no task, then uh, this could be a problem because the, the default value at the end is in flight. Um, but I just want to simplify it here. So as you can see, when it's zero, it's uh, putting departing, which is quite optimistic, I suppose. It's assuming it's going to depart uh, soon. And then we will be having in flight 25%, for instance. Okay, so this is it. Uh, now we need to do a bit of conditional formatting and then we need to calculate this. Uh, the difficulty of this is that we, we actually split a number into three cells. And this is the, the only trick that there is in this uh, tutorial here. Now while I'm working on the status, I just want to put some uh, colors here. What I want to have is a, is a black background 
And then I want to do a conditional formatting based on the value. I, I'm just going to click conditional formatting and just uh, click new rule. Before I do so, I wanted to highlight this is the yellow that I will be using. Uh, this is the airport yellow. Believe me or not, I want to pick up some colors from the airport sign that, <laughs> that I saw but uh, online. And then I just thought this is uh, the yellow they use most of the time. So I want to put standard yellow when it's... Um, uh, in flight or departing, but when it's arrived, I want to put that that yellow, which is a little bit different. We'll see how it works. So the first condition for uh, the conditional formatting here, and once again, it's going to be hard coded. A format cell that contain. I can use this uh, this rule. Format only cells that contain. So value is equal to. Uh, I could put text. There is something specific text. Also, if you want to put containing, so it's a little bit less uh, intimidating. So even if you do. A, if you don't put it all, you will understand. So the first one that I want to put is uh, departing, which is zero. So the specific text is departing. What do I want? I want to put the font uh, with a bright yellow. This one, I'm just uh, taking the bright yellow for this one. You can see the bright yellow. We'll put some uh, grids later on. So I'm just going to do another round. And we just will be duplicating this. And here we'll be doing the same for uh, in flight. And I will be duplicating this again for arrived uh, specific text containing arrived. But this time I will put, be putting the, I'm just trying to see it here, the specific yellow that I have in mind here, format. A font and here I have it already but if you don't have it you go under more colors and uh, you're gonna customs and here you put the code that I had uh, mentioned before that is now hidden of course <laughs> okay so I'm just gonna pick it up directly from where I had it before okay so now if I apply I should have everything here as you can see the arrive looks a little bit different so what to do I want to do? I want to have some uh, grids here that are in white, more borders, white, and I'm just going to do it all here, the on outline and inside in white. Okay, so this is our starting point, I suppose. Uh, now we can do some calculations and after we'll have a look at the top of this. So here I didn't want to type and explain at the same time, so I'm just going to walk you through that uh, very briefly. Um, maybe better of putting it on pause and once I show you the formula so you can do it yourself. But what I'm doing here is I'm using the mod function um, with 1000 and then the mod function with 100 and, and then with 10. And after I use the int uh, function of the number divided by 100. So what it does here is that it shows you the only two last uh, number here, for instance, 100, the two last number. At 10, just the last one, and 1,000 show you the three last ones. And after I divide, and that gives me the one, and the three, and the two. So, okay, so don't worry, it's uh, very easy. Once you've done one, you just drag all that, and you see the cells here. Okay, now what else do we need to do? So now we have this number here 132, 132. I want to put them back here. Uh, so here I'm just putting is equal to this one here. This one is equal to the second one here. And this one is equal to the last one. All right. And I'll just be dragging that down. So this is it. So if you don't like this, obviously you can you can hide all that. Uh, so actually this. We can hide all this, the data and group. But they need to stay. Don't delete them, otherwise it's going to be a disaster. Okay, so now this is done. Okay, let us continue. Uh, now, while we're here, uh, I just want to calculate the total of the work done so I can put it here on the headings. So here I just go and uh, the sum, auto sum of all these should be the total work done. And here it should be the total work left. And we just need to use the same formula actually uh, to, I'm just going to put this one at the top here. And here we just drag the formulas to, to, to do the calculation, to split this into three numbers. Okay, so here I have 212. 
So here, here that, that will be the work done, the total work done. Uh, and this will be the work left. Notice is still the DDIN uh, font. Uh, I'm not sure if uh, I'll be keeping this size. Uh, I can have a look at this later on. The work done, remember we merged those three cells. I'm just going to pick up each one of those numbers here actually. I haven't done much. Work left. Okay. So I don't know if it's going to let me format pen because it's merged cells. Yes, it did. Okay. Work done, work left. Um, there is another thing I wanted to calculate was a, a departing in flight and arrived. So here I'm just going to write actually departing here in flight and arrived. And I will be clicking on one of those, format paint, and drag it across and I should bring back the... <laughs> actually, no, because the first one was actually merge so not a good idea Ben uh, so I'm just gonna take this one take this one here okay departing in flight and arrived and I want numbers here now there's something ex extremely fancy that I've done is I went into the insert icons here and I looked for planes yes it doesn't get any more <laughs> tricky than this so I just want to have a, a plane that, that, that starts arrives and in flight here, so I'm just going to bring back those three here. I'm just going to, while they are linked, I'm just going to try and find a decent size for all of them. Okay, uh, let's say in flight, this is arrived. I'm sticking to my theme, as I said. Uh, no, this is not good. This is uh, in flight. Seems a bit here for some reason. Anyway, so this is it, and this goes here. Now, okay, so I'm just going to put this in black as well. Now, it's not very interesting so far, but I, w I wanted to have the, the green. So I don't know if that's going to work. I think we need to use the paler green that we can have here uh, in flight. Uh, I wanted to have maybe blue, light blue, and for departing I wanted to have something uh, a bit amber. All right, so we have this, and I wanted to calculate how many are de departing, which means how many have the done percentage uh, with zero. So I'm just going to put everything on the right hand side here. So not started, I'm going to put not started here. I'm just going to put uh, in progress and done. So how do I calculate this? It's just very simple count if here. Count if the done percentage here, how many of those are equal to... Actually, I'm going to lock it. I'm going to press F4 to have everything locked so I can reuse it. Is equal, is equal to zero, that would be not started. So we have three not started. Let's just do a quick check. Departing, yes, three. Uh, I'm just going to copy this here. How many are equal to one? Uh, no, this is the one would be for the done. How many are equal to one, or which is 100%? Two, and the, the rest is, uh, can do count if. What I do usually is I do a count A here just to calculate how many tasks there are. And then from this number here, I deduct the what's in progress. So a count A would let you know how many tasks there are, how many cells are non-empty. So we could still fine tune this, obviously taking into account when you have rows with no, no task. And here this is 11 minus not started minus done and here we have six so departing which is not started i'm just going to copy this number here this i'm going to copy the in progress and the done i'm going to copy this so yes the, the numbers are not really consistent yet so this they seem to be a bit bigger here we have a size of 24 
which is just one sh uh, 24, 24, we can do check all that later on. And obviously here, I'm just going to put the white grid as well. White grid around it. We'll see if that makes sense. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Now for the very top here, I, I stuck to my guns. Uh, this is really the airport color here. Uh, you can double check it if you like. I don't know if all airports have the same yellow, but I've been using this one as a background here. So if you, you know, just to confirm, you go under more colors, you go under custom and you put, how come I don't, I don't have in this? Yes, yeah, so this is because it's, it's not, uh, okay, so let's just do it exactly the proper way. Uh, here, I just need to select it first. More colors, custom, and here you would put FFD403, and you would have it here. So, um, and here I can put tasks arriving or departing, for instance. And I'm going to stick to my dead in as well. So we are really into the airport mode here. And I'm just going to put that a little bit bigger. So we're almost done. What I want to do is remove the grid lines. Uh, I want to hide all this. So I've, I've created this uh, data group. I'll show you again, data group. And then I can hide them this way. And we're getting close to the, to the final uh, dashboard here. So now it's season to test, as they say on a, on a cooking show, I suppose you could uh, decide to have this maybe a little bit uh, more in your face with having larger, oops, <laughs> uh, larger task, text. Uh, so here that jumps a little bit too much on my liking. So if I, if I put 40, 40, it's too much. I put 36, it's a bit too much, 34, almost back to, to square one. Uh, here, I just think that I want more black here. Obviously, if you print it, that might not work, but... Uh, uh, okay, so here I'm just going to do a format painter. Uh, what do you think? Are those numbers too big? If you think that those numbers are too big, obviously, you can maybe put them a bit smaller. Makes sense. Okay. If you want a task list a little bit uh, fancier, I suppose you could have a look at this other video where I go into more detail. It's obviously uh, a little bit more uh, professional looking than this one, but I think this one will, gra will uh, grab some interest around.